God, Jesus Christ. Can you say hi? Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Buttercup Show. Yay! Sorry, we're just eating, <laughs> we're just eating lamb. We made sure it wasn't cow because we always do that. Yeah, we worship cows if you haven't noticed already. <laughs> but anyway, today's video is going to be about self-image. It covers a wide range of different subjects, so we're just going to kind of do an overview of it. And it always kind of links back to that, what we said in the last video about that perfect image everyone's got to be of perfect spend way too much time thinking about it's just yeah it is something which a lot of people um, think they have to hit a certain you know perfect yeah look and that's not the case before whatsoever. they leave their house so they have yeah. to look a certain way before they can face the public for example yeah so when you're living indoors you feel comfortable don't you you feel at yourself at home relax but when you at, when you leave your house you always you know everyone gets that feeling of like people looking at you yeah you feel like you're being judged and you just can't be yourself which is the case for a lot of people there's um there's a girl in my um i just started college or both both of us have just started college and there's um a girl who i'm friends with now she's taken my course on social care and she suffers with um anxiety problems and she wears what she feels comfortable with during lessons and I really admire that because, you know, I would have the guts coming in with like a jump on all the time and, you know, feeling comfortable about stuff. I always feel like I have to dress a certain way, wear certain clothes, you know, at least, you know, it's hard to explain. Get used to, I mean, if you see someone walking down the road and they're wearing a short little skirt, let them. If someone's wearing the scruffiest jeans or jogging bottoms, let them. Do you care? Do you know them? Do you care evil? No, you shouldn't care. You just shouldn't yeah. care. I went out for a music video in like this massive puffy dress and started dancing around Hall Church. Yes, I got abused. I didn't care. Yeah, and exactly. You've got to start going out your house in that way. So thinking that only you should feel comfortable. Yeah. These other people who are you think are judging you. You just got to move on from it you know you've got to make yourself better at the end of the day it's you not them it's you you shouldn't worry about the petty comments and opinions of people you don't even know no. you should worry about the people that actually give a shit about you basically and they're gonna like you regardless for who you are not because of how you look <laughs> you better cut that part out <laughs> Right, okay, so. As we said before, we do have a book coming out um, next year to, at the start of 2015. And obviously it covers all these kind of topics and what society's come to, but we've added a comical twist to it. And this. You've not seen this in our book. Oh yeah, video. this is our... Um, we will explain it, but this is our buttercup wall. Which, yeah, so again, we just has put loads of memories on there and stuff like that. Yeah. So we want you to walk away from this video feeling more positive about yourself, yeah. more comfortable about yourself. You know, we're we're all in the same boat. All humans are in the same boat. Everyone goes through these stages and feels self-conscious, the way they have to dress and all this stuff. But eventually it will just click and you will feel yeah. more comfortable with and yourself. At the end of the day, you've just got to... Um, you'll just be a lot happier when you don't care anymore. Yeah. You really will be so much happier. Yeah. You just don't care. Just go out and be yourself because people are going to like you for you then. So our advice for you would be... Don't give a shit. Basically. <laughs> you know, just go outside, feel yourself, be yourself, not feel yourself. Mm -hmm. um, be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> just don't care. Wear what you want to wear. It's like, I can give an example. I feel like looking. Shut up. It's like, as an example, if you're going out with your friends and for me a big issue that I feel a bit awkward about is weight obviously if you're going out for example to the beach or whatever and you're worried about wearing a swimsuit blah de blah de blah 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 you may as well go for it because at the end of the day it's your friends and if they really give a shit about how you look they're, they're, not, your they're not worth your they're not worth it they're not worth your time you you don't need them in your life. So many people that would find that you look nice. Bigger, smaller, every, someone out there is going to like you. And at the end of the day, if you are bigger, smaller, whatever, your friends aren't gonna like be like, oh shit, she's big. Big surprise, you know, they can see you. 
you know, they obviously know they're not going to be expecting a major supermodel come out to come out of you. Yeah, so you, you just got to feel relaxed. Like I keep on saying, um, feel relaxed. Just some breathing you exercises. For example, when you go to go for a swim, for example, you should feel comfortable with yourself. Going for a swim is meant to be enjoyable, fun. You shouldn't be getting stressed over what, how you look, what you're wearing, that sort of thing. You should have fun while swimming. Yeah, swimming is a fun hobby. <laughs> yeah. So, for example, where you go, where else could you go where you might feel uncomfortable? Um, the beach, similar situation really. I used to do loads of like shows, dance schools and things and I'd always have to wear like these little dresses and little leotards and things. I always felt so awful but at the end of the day, if people are there to watch the show, give your performance. Yeah. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter how you look when you do performance, you know, it's how you act. Perform. Yeah, exactly. So it's not yeah, they don't judge you on what you're wearing, yeah. they judge you on how good your acting skills exactly. are. Exactly, and when you're doing performing and things like that, there is so many jobs like acting, singing, you can look like anything. Someone will have a job for you and someone will love the way you look regardless of, yeah. and someone will hate the way you look. It's At the end of the day, it's what how you are as a person mm -hmm. and that's how possibly people will judge you on. Yeah. That's judging is fine, but thinking judging someone judging in a bad isn't. way yeah, it, is horrible. I suppose when you're not walking around, you see someone, then you instantly think, you know, it's how your mind works. It isn't good. Like I'm not saying we're not saying it's good, but we we do it. Us two, we do it. When we go to London, we see people dress strangely, not normal, and compare them to and compare kangaroos. Them. Okay, so don't forget to follow our book on Twitter and Facebook, which is Twitter at... Twitter at... <laughs> at underscore the unpopulars. <laughs> and Facebook is just search the unpopulars and then give us a like. Yeah, and tell us what you think. Leave us a comment below, tell us what you think and stuff like that. If we're doing something wrong, if we're upsetting anyone, please do tell us. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> we don't want any hard feelings on yeah. things. And again, if any of you have any... <laughs> Questions or anything, please feel free to leave them. Any things that worry you, we will reply. Yeah, we always it's want easier to help. if you tell us what to do. Yeah, if you're not happy with talking to your, so, well, I would recommend as well. If you are, if you are having these sort of problems, I know that people say speaking to people isn't their best forte. You know, they get really scared about talking to people. But you know, if your school has a counsellor, I would really recommend going speaking to them. And if they're not useful, then there are websites and organisations which can help yeah. you build up your confidence. There is always other people you can talk to. Yeah. In fact, even doing hobbies, like, I started doing drama and I found that, like, really helps you because, like, in these situations you can put on a character in life. That's my motto. That's it from us today. <laughs> okay, I'll All see right, you next, see you next time. week. Bye! bye.